There's a look at your 2015 Green Gales in their new shirts, and they are a thing of beauty, looking really sharp to start this season. Four on three action here. Doesn't take long for the Aurelia Kings to get on the board at the man advantage. Trent Boyd converts from the edge of the crease, giving his team a one to nothing lead. The Green Gales will explode for a series of goals midway through the first. Starts with this as Ethan shot. It's going to hit Andrew Payton, but the ball will roll across the line. Jeremy McWaters waits for the screen to be set up and then unloads to give the Green Gales a lead in this game that they would not relinquish. Number nine, Jack Drinkwater. Can't handle this pass. It's gobbled up by another number nine, Mackenzie Schurz, and he is in alone, and he will score. While that goal is still being announced, Zach Lysak, spin move, and he nets the Green Gales' fourth goal in a span of two and a half minutes. First period comes to close with Aurelia enjoying a two-man advantage, but they won't enjoy the outcome. Benetrosa hits a streaking Cam Garland. He controls and then scores before getting leveled 5-1 to one after 20 minutes of play. Into the second period, Patton makes a number of good saves to keep his team hanging around in this game, but eventually the Green Gales would get back to putting the ball in the net. Adam Peroni weaving through traffic, scores the first of his team leading five points on the night. Just over a minute later, Tyler Stinson working behind goal finds Matt Shand, and he will score his first as a Green Gale. Goal scoring, few and far between for Aurelia, but Boyd will emerge from a face-off battle here with the ball. Easy path to the goal, beating Liam wins 7-2. Kings on a power play, but once again, the Green Gales are going to come out on top. Then pitch fourth, outlets for Bryce Tolmy. He's in, and the shorthanded goal is his first in Junior B. Half a minute after a second Tolmy goal, Benetrosa opens his Junior B account with this heavy shot that gets behind Patton. Late stages of the game, Justin Leith gets into it with Michael Greco. Greco with the early knockdown, but Leith is determined. He jumps right back in and continues on. Greco gets five in a game for the altercation. Same for Leith, but he will also pick up a match penalty. Nice move here by Tolmy to zip past the defender. Takes his time and sets up Justin Bragg. That rounds out the scoring on the night for the Green Gales. 13-4 is your final. No power play goals for the home side, but they did have two shorthanded, and they controlled the play when a man down. Coach is really stressing just to get a good chunk of possession off and try and get our guys out of the box as soon as possible and try and take a bit off our D. They're, they're doing a great job with the penalty kill all night too, so we just had a little bit to do in the offensive end when we had the ball, and I thought we did a great job of taking a lot of clock off. Well, uh, we took a lot of outside shots. I mean, we've got a young, young squad, and we're uh, obviously battling through a couple of things. We're uh, going to start learning a uh, system, and then we'll uh, go to the net and put the ball in the net even more.